if your aim is to find some budget-friendly Asian destinations to travel to, and who knows, meet some interesting women, you've come to the right place. With about $1.150, you can rent a well-equipped and comfy apartment, while daily living costs stay under $1.25. Let's explore together some of the less affluent countries in Asia, where you'll find charming women looking for company. Nestled in the heart of the Himalayas, Bhutan is a constitutional monarchy that blends deep reverence for its hereditary king with a robust democratic framework. Globally recognized for prioritizing the happiness and well-being of its citizens over traditional economic indicators, the country pioneered the concept of Gross National Happiness Index. Despite this progressive approach, Bhutan still grapples with significant economic challenges, ranking among the world's poorest nations. The country's industrial sector is modest, primarily focusing on hydropower, agriculture and forestry, limiting economic diversification and making it vulnerable to environmental and market risks. Furthermore, Bhutan's mountainous geography poses its own challenges, making transportation and access difficult. This particularly affects the delivery of essential services like healthcare and education in many of its remote areas. In 2022, Bhutan faced a youth unemployment rate of 29.61%, marking a 9.02% increase from the previous year. This number highlights the lack of job opportunities, directly contributing to the country's poverty issues. Additionally, Bhutan is renowned for its rich culture. Bhutanese women in particular are noted for their unique beauty, characterized by sun-kissed skin, almond-shaped eyes, long straight brown hair, and slender figures with delicate facial features. However, if you're thinking of pursuing a romantic relationship in Bhutan, it's crucial to approach it with serious intentions. In the local culture, casual relationships are often frowned upon, with more value placed on those with marriage prospects. This cultural emphasis underscores the importance of honoring Bhutanese values and customs. In terms of cost of living, residing in cities like Thimphu or Paro can vary significantly, with monthly rents ranging from $300 to over $1,000, depending on the size and location of the property. At local restaurants, you can find meals ranging from $5 to $15. As for household expenses, basic utilities for a one-bedroom apartment typically cost around $1.70 per month, while internet can be obtained for approximately $1.30 per month. Transportation, including options like buses and taxis, is quite affordable with fares ranging from $0.50 cents to $1.02 for local trips. Healthcare expenses are equally accessible, averaging around $1.50 per month, making Bhutan an attractive option for single expatriates or retirees seeking a quality life. Living comfortably in Bhutan as an expatriate can cost between $700 and $1,000 per month. Now before we switch gears, I'd love to know a bit more about you. Where are you from? Have you visited these countries? And in your opinion, which country has the most beautiful women? Please, share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. Kyrgyzstan, with its majestic mountains and vast steppes, offers a landscape as diverse as its population. The country is a mosaic of ethnic groups, such as Kyrgyz, Uzbeks and Russians, creating a culturally rich and vibrant environment. Music, dance and traditional crafts are fundamental aspects of this culture, playing an essential role in the country's daily life. Kyrgyzstan's economy, in turn, is largely supported by financial remittances from citizens working abroad, especially in Russia and Kazakhstan. This reliance on external economies exposes the country to economic instabilities in these nations. The main internal economic activity is agriculture, although this sector faces significant challenges such as climate variations and lack of modernization. Shortages in investments in technology and infrastructure exacerbate these problems, resulting in low productivity and making the livelihoods of many directly linked to the weather. Additionally, industry in Kyrgyzstan is small and lacks diversification, mainly focusing on mining and processing agricultural products. The lack of high-value-added industries in Kyrgyzstan limits its economic growth and job creation, contributing to its position as one of the poorest countries in Asia. Kyrgyz women, notable for their loyalty and unique beauty, stand out for distinct and harmonious features, including peculiar-shaped eyes, flawless skin, and well-proportioned bodies. Within Kyrgyzstan's culture, loyalty is an extremely important value. 
women are particularly devoted to their partners and view infidelity as a serious offense. Additionally, many express disinterest in marrying local men, who often refrain from participating in household chores and tend to leave decisions and responsibilities in the hands of their wives. A lot of women in Kyrgyzstan are looking for partners abroad because they're having a hard time finding compatibility in their local relationships. Talking about the cost of living, in Bishkek, the capital, renting a one-bedroom apartment downtown goes for around 450 bucks a month. If you decide to live a bit further from the center, the price drops to about $250. Monthly food budget varies from 50 to 100 bucks, depending on personal taste, while dining out at a local joint can cost you between two and five dollars. Basic utilities for a one-bedroom apartment run from 30 to 60 bucks a month, and internet access and cell plans go for between 10 and 20 bucks. Transportation is surprisingly cheap, with bus fares or shared taxis costing between 20 to 50 cents per trip. As for healthcare, a basic doctor's visit sets you back between 10 and 20 bucks, though specialized treatments might require a bigger investment. Nepal is known for its breathtaking natural beauty, with eight of the world's top 10 highest mountains, including the mighty Mount Everest. But despite all that natural beauty, the country's got some big hurdles in its way when it comes to development, mainly because about 75% of the land is all mountainous and rugged. That makes it tough for folks to get to education and job opportunities, especially for women. On top of that, Nepal's like a big melting pot of different ethnic groups, each bringing their own rich traditions and lively festivals. One standout group is the Gurkhas, these soldiers known worldwide for their bravery and loyalty, who've been serving in the British Army for over two centuries. But even with all that, Nepal's still one of the poorest countries in Asia, dealing with the aftermath of a 10-year civil war that only ended in 2006, plus they're always facing natural disasters like earthquakes and floods. All these things combined, they make for some pretty tough challenges for the country's long-term progress. The country's dealing with some big economic challenges because of its rough terrain and lack of coastline, which makes international trade tricky and limits access to outside markets and essential resources. Especially in the rural and less developed areas, there's a shortage of educational opportunities. When it comes to jobs, there just aren't enough good ones, which is why youth unemployment's been sitting at a worrying 20.52% in 2022, though there are signs it might be getting a bit better. Nepali women stand out for their stunning beauty and diverse ethnic backgrounds, with striking looks and delicate features that reflect the country's rich cultural mix. Not only are they fluent in English, but they're also known for their friendliness and hospitality. Warmth and kindness are big deals in Nepali culture, especially among women, who are famous for their welcoming nature and genuine warmth. Nepalese women really value family ties, they work hard to create a cozy vibe at home. Education's becoming a big deal among them too, fueled by more awareness about gender equality, pushing more to aim for higher education. If you're into loyalty, beauty, and charm in a relationship, Nepal's got plenty of options. In Kathmandu, snagging a one-bedroom apartment can set you back anywhere from $150 to $500 a month. But out in the boonies, rent's way cheaper, ranging from $80 to $300. Food costs for one person usually fall between $50 to $100, depending on your eating habits and where you shop. Eating out won't break the bank either, with a local meal typically running you between $2 and $5. Utilities for a simple apartment usually add up to about $1.30 to $1.50 a month. Internet costs in Nepal range from $15 to $30, depending on the plan you pick. Public transportation is crazy cheap, with bus fares ranging from 20 cents to 50 cents per ride. If you're more into driving, budgeting for fuel and vehicle maintenance can run you between $1.30 to $1.50 a month. Plus, healthcare services are way more affordable compared to many Western countries, with a doctor's visit typically setting you back anywhere from $1.10 to $1.20. A retired expat can live comfortably on around $1.700 a month in Nepal, enjoying a life with relatively low expenses. Myanmar is one heck of a place where old-school vibes mingle with modern mojo in a chill harmony. On one side, you got those serene Buddhist pagodas and grand remnants of the British colonial era, and on the flip, you've got Yangon buzzing with life, one of Asia's safest spots, blending slick urban setups with quaint rural villages. It's like a mixtape of diversity and hospitality, 
signature vibes of the Burmese folk. But despite its rich cultural and social scene, Myanmar's got some serious economic hurdles. It's heavily reliant on agriculture and low-tech industries, which makes it one of Southeast Asia's poorest cousins. Lately, they've made strides in poverty reduction, dropping from 48.2% in 2005 to 24.8% in 2017, showing some economic hustle. Yet, rural poverty's still kicking, with recent curveballs like climate change throwing punches, directly affecting the lives and dreams of Burmese women, tweaking their roles in society. In Myanmar, folks out in the sticks are dealing with a much higher risk of poverty compared to their city counterparts, with odds up to 2.7 times higher of living in tough conditions. Over the past few years, a bunch of stuff has made things worse, like job shortages, climate change mess, food insecurity, and just an overall spike in poverty levels. Now, Burmese women, they're something else, with their own unique blend of beauty and charm that folks across Southeast Asia dig. They're often described as slim with shiny black hair, soft facial features, round cheeks, and eyes that stand out. Raised in a culture that values family ties and education big time, many of these women are making moves in various professional arenas. But despite these strides, many still find themselves stuck in traditional roles, especially in rural areas, where they're mostly holding down the fort at home and looking after the fam. Burmese women are known for their warmth and hospitality, especially towards visitors from other countries. When it comes to the cost of living in Myanmar, it's pretty reasonable. For instance, you can snag a furnished studio apartment for around $280 a month, while a one-bedroom pad will set you back about $320 per month. If you're into dining out, a simple meal runs you about $2, and a dinner for two at a mid-range restaurant clocks in at around $16. Monthly grocery bills typically don't exceed $200, as for basic utilities like electricity, water, and internet, costs are quite fair, with utilities hovering around $35 a month and internet around $25. Public transport is also a bargain, with a bus or train fare costing just 30 cents. Plus, healthcare is pretty affordable, with a doctor's visit setting you back around $20. For those coming from abroad and settling down in Yangon, Myanmar, you can live comfortably on a monthly budget between $900 and $1,000. The country's familiarity with English, ranking 70th on the EF English Proficiency Index in 2022, is a legacy of its historical ties with Britain and reflects the value placed on English education. This makes adaptation and communication for expats a breeze. We're looking forward to taking you to our next destination and we're sure you'll love it. But before we do, a small favor it would only take 10 seconds for you to subscribe to the channel. Your subscription means a lot to us and helps us keep improving our content. How about we make this deal? In return, we promise to maintain quality and bring even more exciting stuff your way. Deal? The Tajikistan is often called the roof of the world because of its stunning Pamir mountain range, which offers a spectacular landscape and serves as a majestic backdrop, harking back to the vibrant times of the ancient Silk Road. While the country stands out for its breathtaking scenery, it faces significant economic challenges as one of the least developed nations in Asia. Tajikistan's economy relies heavily on remittances sent by an extensive diaspora of workers. Additionally, despite having great potential for hydroelectric power generation, the country faces obstacles in energy production, especially during the winter months. The lack of access to the sea also raises transportation costs making it difficult for Tajikistan to integrate into global markets. The challenges faced in Tajikistan also create unique opportunities, especially for singles from more developed countries looking for a fresh start and maybe companionship. You can find a comfy apartment outside the big cities for anywhere between $100 to $200 a month. Grocery expenses can be kept between $50 to $100 monthly, especially if you go for fresh and affordable stuff at the local markets. With a monthly budget of $700 to $800, an expat can live a comfortable lifestyle, covering basic costs and still enjoying leisure activities like dining out and checking out local entertainment options. As we near 2024, it's interesting to note that the majority of the population in Tajikistan is comprised of women. The female dominance in Tajikistan is largely influenced by work migration patterns, where many Tajik men head to Russia and other countries in search of higher-paying jobs, 
resulting in a higher proportion of women in the country. Each mentioned region has its own quirks, challenges, and charms. Whether it's the mountainous terrain of Bhutan and Nepal, the rich culture of Kyrgyzstan, the preserved history of Myanmar, or the dynamism of Cambodia.